what's going on guys if you guys are new here hit that sub button right here I'm trying to get to a thousand subs so for today's video i still haven't gotten this part in in the mail but i basically just took this off a vt500 what i'm gonna do is wire this up to this bike so basically i'm probably gonna put it around here somewhere i don't know figure that out later this black hose right here is what um uses the vacuum to pump the gas from here to here so i'm gonna switch out the lines and everything i'm gonna switch them off for clear lines i'm gonna see if this actually works um so my vacuum is gonna go from here to here so i'm just gonna pull this out connect this one here let me do this real quick hopefully this works and this will resolve my gas issue so let me do this and i'll be back You can see the fuel's coming out, it goes in here, then it gets pumped with the vacuum of the motor, which is attached back here, and then the fuel rises and goes inside to the carbs. So let me test this out real quick and I'll come back with some results. I'm back with some good news. This fuel pump is actually working, so the carbs are getting a good amount of gas. I still have to adjust the, um, the carbs and get it at that sweet spot um but that's gonna you know take a couple of days of riding and you know stuff like that so good thing is i should be able to take it for a spin and it not die on me so good news this works um just have to find a better spot to mount this because it's ugly here so i'm gonna turn her on let her run for a little bit so you guys can see choke Right, guys so she's running good i uh, adjusted the carbs i pushed out the screw six half turns out so she's running good she's not after firing while she's on i've accelerated a few times so um just got to drive it and uh see how she uh she handles so like i said this fuel pump works fantastic i'm gonna leave this one on um, the one I ordered on Amazon, probably just gonna return it because this is OEM Honda. So it's probably a better quality one than the one that I ordered. Um, I just have to figure out where to put it, locate it. Maybe it'll be able to stay sideways and then I can hide it inside the, you know, underneath the tank or whatever. All right guys, so I'm gonna take the bike for a test drive. This is gonna determine whether she stays on or not. So. We're gonna see, she's pumping the gas with the little fuel pump set up. So, let's give her a little test drive. She's feeling pretty good. Feels like she got power. Make sure the fuel fuel pump doesn't flip over to the side. My turn signals work. Finally. Bike's feeling good.
Yeah guys, so she's running pretty good. I've been out here for like a few minutes now. She still hasn't died, so I would have to say this is a success. I just connected the speed sensor too, so it should be working. It's definitely not going 50 or 40, so. So yeah, guys, she's running good. She's, she's, she's looking pretty good. This just fell out. I don't know where the heck that went, so I'm gonna have to look for that um, that screw that's up here. I guess I never tightened it, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna put her away. All right, guys. So you saw the test drive. The bike did absolutely amazing. Um, fuel pump is good, so I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can mount this uh, just like this. Maybe get a longer fuel line, mount it somewhere up here. It's still after firing out of the exhaust. So I gotta, you know, adjust the carbs, tune it, you know, and um, make sure they're in sync because it seems like they're not in sync. But the only thing that happened, I don't know if you guys noticed, I went around a second time to see if I can find it, but the screw here fell off. I guess I never tightened it good enough. You know, I didn't use Loctite or anything like that, but that's totally fine. All right, so I went over the GoPro footage and look at what I found. The screw, actually fell into here that's crazy look it that's nuts i'm gonna put some loctite on that all right guys i'm gonna show you guys real quick how to remove the blue film on the white walls some people usually just use warm water and a rag all right guys so i got my sponge this is the side i'm gonna use dip it in some water I'm gonna do the whole wheel real quick. I'm gonna use some warm water and some soap. I'm just gonna use this side and a rag to clean it off, so. So that's pretty much it, pretty much all set. This is still some like little blue spots here and there. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not gonna do the full complete wheel um, today. I'm gonna do all this when I detail the bike. So I just wanted to show you guys how to get the blue um, protector off on the white walls um so some soapy water sponge use this side the brillo side and just go go to town and scrub it so i'm gonna end the video here hit that like button subscribe if you guys are not subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one ain't nothing special about it she said she loved me i think she confused because you acting different around me i need my distance because you acting new Tryna act like it's cool, but I ain't know nothing about it. I ain't know nothing about it. You hit my line, you know I don't call. She coming through cause she having with Charles.